Get up and go with Duncan and Carly on demand. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. It's the Get Up and Go Show. And today is... Today is International Day of Peace. Important day today. <laughs> Should be every day. Just try to do that every day, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, World Gratitude Day. Okay, also every day. Oh, try, try and do that every day. <laughs> it's also National Chai Day. Chai is so good. Okay. Especially yeah. if you don't make it yourself. That's my favorite kind of chai. Yeah. I've tried to do it at home. It's not good. It's not the same. Even if it's the same brand, it's not the same. And it's also mini golf day. Man, do I wish we had a mini golf course around here. Why mini golf? There was a time, I think every town in the world had a mini golf course. I can't believe we don't have one. That's what we should do. That'll be our side hustle. We'll open up a mini golf course. I mean, there's got to be a reason there aren't any open. It'll be the top of the town. (laughs) I don't think so. All right, good morning, everybody. It's Duncan and Carly. we got another chance for you to win some cash. Maybe you do want to start your own business. There you go. You could do that when you win $30,000. Coming up this morning at 8 o'clock. 30 grand. 30 grand. In your hand. What's the first thing you do after you win cash? $30,000. Would you party like a pop star? Fly first class to England? Hang with Big Ben? Jump on the Eurostar and have a picnic in front of the Eiffel Tower? And, oh yeah, shop all the best European fashions. When you score 30 grand, what you do with it is up to you. Listen weekdays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. for codes to win cash. Tap them into our app and you're instantly entered to win up to 30 grand in your hand. Get full rules and details now on our site and app. 106.9 KROC. It's Duncan and Carly. A new report says the average American is only drinking five glasses of water a day. We're supposed to be drinking eight. I've got the top five most popular drinks on the board, Carly. Go. Other than water or including water? Including water. Okay, so I'm going to say water. Water is the number one answer. Wow. (laughs) You said you have the top five drinks? Yep. Coffee? Coffee, number three on the board. What about... Tea. Oh. This is America, Carly. Okay, well, people still like tea here. Mm -hmm. Go back. Go back to England. Go back to England. (laughs) Um, What about about, like uh, pop? Pop. Soda pop, number two. Okay. I was wondering if that was the number two answer. Um, Hmm. What about milk? Milk, number five. Oh. Okay, I have one more. Top drinks. Um, alcohol? Did I sweep it? <laughs> Beer, number four on the list. Oh, okay. Wow, that's the first time that's happened. I know. Good job. Thank you. Proud of you. This is 106.9 KROC with Duncan and Carly. Coming up in about 20 minutes, Carly's got a list of the deadliest animals here in Minnesota. I'm going to tell you the one that I'm frightened by most and everybody's going to laugh at me. Uh, Okay. (laughs) We'll do that at 740. (laughs) But we want to know what animal freaks you out as well. 507-281-2400 or open our app and chat with us. Is there an animal, Carly? You know, I wouldn't say it scares me, but like, you know, those blob fish that are found at the bottom of the ocean. Okay. Those just like give me the heebie-jeebies. But that's something you're never going to encounter. So you don't have to worry about that. You never know. (laughs) (laughs) There are people like on our Facebook, uh, Heimstead said sharks. Yeah, yeah. You can avoid sharks if you want to. Unless you're out on the ocean. You don't have to go in the ocean. There are boring. Like Noelle says, bees and hornets and wasps. Mm. You can't avoid those if you go outside right now, especially right now. Audrey said roosters. Roosters freak her out, huh? Mm -hmm, mm Mm-hmm. Have you ever been around chickens? Some of them, like some of those roosters can be aggressive. Like not really. I haven't really been around. I like I've, I've been on the other side of a fence of a chicken. <laughs> At a petting zoo or something? I don't think yeah. I've ever been in the same enclosure as okay. a chicken before. Chickens also, though, a side note, can be very nice. Mm-hmm. I've got a buddy that has pet chickens, and he'll let them out of their cage, and they follow him around as he mows his grass. That's so cute. Like a little parade. So <laughs> it is adorable. <laughs> All right, what is it for you? What animals freak you out? Open our app and chat with us, or call 507-281-2400. Haley said she's scared of pigs. Pigs. She says, given the chance, they'll eat you. Pigs will. I mean, most of these animals will probably eat you. Like your cats at home, Carly, are going to eat you. If you die, 
<laughs> a couple days go by, they're hungry. They're going to be like, you know what? Sahara for sure. Where do we start? For Top sure. or bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> All right, coming up in about 15 minutes, Carly's got the deadliest animals in Minnesota. Duncan and Carly in the morning on 106.9 KROC. Celebrity sound bites. On 106.9 KROC. We got to start out by shouting out Shaq, who wanted to get healthier and look better, and he is doing that right nice. now. Nice. I'm I'm a realist. I was fat, and I wanted to become P H A T. Pretty hot and tempting. <laughs> He's lost 55 pounds. Wow, which is incredible. Good nice. for him. Also, season 24 of The Voice is premiering on Monday. The coaches this season are John Legend, Gwen Stefani, Niall Horan, and new coach Reba McIntyre. Gwen was talking about her favorite thing about the show, and it's actually stuff that's not even on TV. <laughs> when I coach, when I'm actually in those like reality days when we get to really work with them, yeah. that's like my favorite part. The behind-the-scenes coaching. Mm-hmm. That, that, I would love to see that. I know. I wish they would put that like on YouTube or something. Like, here's what Ooh. you didn't see. Or maybe like put it on streaming only. Like, where can you watch the yeah. voice? Like, maybe Hulu or something like that. Mm. Put it only on Hulu. That would be really cool. You know what I else can... I'd like to see? What? I'd like to see the cat fights between Gwen and Reba because I'm hearing there's tension. <laughs> oh, are because you? Because Reba is getting all the attention. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see. What what day does it start? Uh, Monday. 106.9 KROC with Duncan and Carly. Tell us an animal that freaks you out. Carly's got the 12 deadliest animals here in Minnesota. We'll get to that in just a second. But first, we want to know what animal freaks you out. Uh, here's a Rochester-specific one. Cindy says geese freak her out. I don't know how you live here. <laughs> Those geese, man, when they get to hissing at you. I can't imagine. I've never had that happen to me. I was out on a walk one time. And they're time. fast. Mm-hmm. And then it's just the, the run with the wings out. Yeah, it's like, ah! <laughs> um, I was out on a walk one time. There, the usual path that I take had geese standing on it, and they were watching me. And I was like, okay, I'm taking the long way, I guess. Yeah, yeah, so I am <laughs> not going to walk by you. This does not sound good. All right, what is it for you? What animals freak you out? Open our app and chat with us or call 507-281-2400. Let's say good morning to Jenna. Spiders, do they count? Spiders <laughs> count, yeah. yes, absolutely. Spiders are creepy, <laughs> for sure. Carly, are spiders on the list? Uh, you've got like the brown recluse spider, which their bite can cause your skin to like blister and give you ulcers. And if it's not treated, it can kill you. Why are we talking about this? I don't even uh, know why I brought, brought this up. up. You <laughs> I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people are saying spiders or snakes. That's what it is for you, Shani. Snakes are spiders, but snakes are a little bit more creepy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've got one, guys. Tell me if this one's weird. Squirrels. What? You're afraid of squirrels? What? Oh, I love squirrels. They're so cute. Sometimes I'll run on the Douglas Trail and the squirrels there are like wild squirrels. They're not like your neighborhood squirrels. (laughs) They are just ready to lunge and attack and it scares the crap out of me that I'm going to get attacked by a squirrel. They got the beady little eyes. They're sitting there on the trail just ready to pounce. They're plotting your death every time you run by. Oh, my God. Could you imagine if a squirrel was chasing you while you're running? (laughs) And you're screaming bloody murder. I'm a squirrel. The squirrel's chasing me. You know I'm going to be screaming. (laughs) Thanks for calling in, Shani. Okay, back to the list of the deadliest animals in Minnesota. We're talking about rattlesnakes. We have two specifically that, that are deadly if they bite you. Thankfully, they make noise, though. Thankfully, they make noise, though before they strike. So you kind of have an idea. Yeah, but you know what? Everybody has earbuds in now. True. So you're just jamming out, and then all of a sudden you're dying. Oh, <laughs> and all of a sudden you're dying. Hopefully it was a good song you were listening to. <laughs> Obviously, like black bears, I don't remember if I said black bears, but black bears are on here. You okay. got like owls and hawks. Owls? If you get too close to their, their territory and they feel threatened by you. An owl will take you out? Them talons, man. They could really screw you up. I've never heard of anybody being attacked by an owl. <laughs> because they did. <laughs> because they did. <laughs> all right. Check out, check out all the facts and the stats behind the deadliest animals in Minnesota right now on our app. Your smart speaker doesn't have to be smart to know where to get the hits. Just ask your smart speaker to play us. 
Oozer Snooze with Duncan and Carly on 1069 KROC. The Minnesota Wild has introduced us to their new team puppy. And she's so cute. Wait, they have a teen puppy? Yes, this is the fifth year that they've done this. It's through their adopt dog program. And what they do is they have this dog as like kind of like a cheerleader for the team for the year. Okay. But also the dog is trained throughout the season. Um, and then they are given to this nonprofit called Soldiers Six to be trained as a service dog. Oh, and that's then the awesome. dog is gifted to a um like veteran, former firefighter, police officer, that kind of thing, who needs a service dog for PTSD. So her name is Hattie, and she is a golden retriever mix. She's only four months old right now. Do we have pictures of Hattie? Oh, yes. Okay. She's so cute. You can check her out on the 106.9 KROC app. There's a new study that reveals the best time to work out for weight loss. Okay. That is between 7 and 9 a.m. Okay, when we're working. So this study says that people who work out in the early hours of the morning have a lower BMI and waist circumference on average. Which I feel like also the people who get up and work out in the morning have done that consistently for a long time. Yeah, I think there's more variables so of course than the time be. of the day. Yeah. It's right. their whole lifestyle. Absolutely. And a lot of it is Food, too. We've talked about that before. We won't get on our soapbox about that. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the New York Times has released their 2023 list of the best restaurants in the country. One from Minnesota is on the list. It is up in Minneapolis. It's called Guy Noi, and it's a Lao restaurant. Oh, what is Lao food? I guess I don't even know. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> so we need to take a road trip and learn. I mean, obvi- it's like, you know, some sort of Asian cuisine. Uh, gai noi is short for cow gai noi, which is a type of short grain rice. Sticky rice is the most common staple food yes. of Lao cuisine. Yes. So. Um, the person who owns gai noi is also um, owns two other restaurants, one in Minneapolis called uh, Kaluna. And Lat 14 in Golden Valley, which I have been to. Is it and it's very, very good. Mm-hmm. So, would recommend. You can check out more details about that restaurant and the other uh, top restaurants across the country on the 106.9 KROC app. Duncan and Carly in the morning on 106.9 KROC. If you've ever been on a flight, you know that every time they do a really boring, lame, safety lame. instruction. Yeah, they get lame when your plane crashes. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, right, exactly. You're right. like, dang, I wish I would have paid attention. Oh, where's that, uh, where that floating device again? <laughs> um, yeah, there's always the instructions on, like, how to get the oxygen mask yep. on and where your flotation device is and that kind of thing. Most of the time, people just kind of glaze it over and yep. forget about Every it. Every time, yep. But this guy, this flight attendant, made sure that people were paying attention because he did the most awesome, most epic lip sync to the safety instructions ever <laughs> it is great no exits over the wings and two exit doors in the back take a moment to locate the nearest one and- is it just a random computer voice I think that it was just thinking somebody to? recorded it once okay. upon a time for the company, I bet. And oh, okay. then he's just lip syncing to it to make it more interesting. It was just so good. And people were commenting on this TikTok. Um <laughs> One person said, the way I'd be digging through my purse to find tip money. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate, seriously. He is having a good time. Another person said, it's the only time I've ever paid attention. <laughs> You can see the video right now on our app. And hold on, we got 10 in a row coming up next and another shot for you to win 30 grand. We'll put you on a plane, send you on a vacation when you win 30 grand at the top of the hour on 106.9 KROC. Duncan and Carly, weekday mornings on 106.9 KROC.